welcome dear viewers to the video on sustained release drug delivery systems there are many formulations for oral administration which are available in the sustained release type of drug delivery sometimes sustained release is also called as prolonged release or it is also used as synonymous to control release and extended release there are some minor differences between these terminologies and i have made a separate video on the differences so the, that video is available and you can go through that video to have more information on the differences current video focus on the sustained release formulations these are also referred as SR formulations or SR drug delivery systems. Sometimes you may find the formulations like tablets and capsules named as SR. So whenever SR is there, that means it is a sustained release type of formulation. Let's start with the introduction to oral formulations. See the oral drug delivery or oral oral route for drug administration is the most common and widely utilized route for the systemic drug administration and this is because the self administration of the medicine is possible for the oral route many formulations are there for oral drug delivery like tablets capsules granules pellets and oral liquids as well like suspensions and solutions oral formulations may be immediate release delayed release or sustained release and the goal of all these drug delivery systems are to achieve the particular blood concentration or particular systemic blood concentration for the therapeutic effect the goal of the oral drug delivery is to achieve steady state blood level that is both therapeutically effective and non toxic for a prolonged period so that means simply the drug formulation is to be safe and effective sustained release formulations are designed to release the drug over an extended period of time after a single dose so you can consider that or you can say that the sustained release type of formulations are designed to reduce the number of doses and to make the drug formulation such that the drug release will be for a longer period and the action will be sustained for a longer period what is the importance of sustained release drug delivery so there are advantages like improved patient compliance reduced toxicity enhanced clinical outcome and cost efficiency sr formulation or sr technique for drug delivery system reduces dosing frequency compared to conventional drug regimens reduced toxicity that means that means it prevents toxicity associated with high peak drug concentrations enhanced clinical outcome means sustained therapeutic effect over an extended period of time and it also reduces the total cost of the treatment by minimizing the dosing frequency or doses frequency so what is the rationale for sr formulation it minimizes the dosing frequency reduces the treatment cost decreases toxicity and improves duration of action so minimizing the dosing frequency that means less frequent dosing 
will improve the patient adherence patient compliance it also reduces the number of doses and that's why it reduces the pill burden per day fewer doses per day will reduce the overall medication cost and by providing the sr release the toxicity will get decreased by maintaining the steady state levels the risk of overdose is also minimized it also improves duration of action for drugs with a shorter half life sr dds enhances their therapeutic duration terminology related to sr formulations many of the times different terminologies are used like delayed release sustained release controlled release and extended release so consider here delayed release not like a enteric coated but you can consider it as the drug release at specific target site that's why it is sustained release or it it may be a modified release all sustained release formulations come under the category of modified release sustained release prolong the therapeutic activity by controlling the drug release and drug release rate controlled release means delivers medication at a predetermined rate independent of the initial concentration and the aim of controlled release is to achieve the zero order release extended release designed to release the drug gradually over time so different terminologies are there advantages of the sustained release systems so you can consider the rationale or importance of advantages as similar as patient compliance improvement reduce peak value concentration and that's why toxicity reduction is there reduce total dose improved efficiency and economical benefits disadvantage of sustained release systems some disadvantages are also there like inhibition of the prompt termination termination of the drug delivery is difficult difficult to stop therapy quickly in case of adverse effects limited doses flexibility fixed release rate limit dose adjustment patient variation not suitable for all populations manufacturing complexity a higher cost due to specialized manufacturing processes for example if you are working on to the modified release or sustained release pellets then you will know that it is a very difficult and complex process to manufacture sr pellets poor in vivo in vitro correlation the absorption window in the gi tract may limit bioavailability dose dumping risk of rapid drug release leading to toxicity so dose dumping is very critical and very important for the sr formulations dose dumping means releasing the more amount of drug than the specified amount for example if the criteria for drug release in 1 hour is not more than 30% and if the formulation releases more than that specified amount of drug that means there is a dose dumping and dose dumping leads to toxicity so that is the main challenge for sustained release type of formulations poor in vivo in vitro correlation this may be the challenge but not always the absorption window in the gi tract may limit bioavailability and that's why there may be challenge of correlation that is also known as iv ivc correlation coming to the classification of sustained release systems some are continuous release some are delayed transit and control release systems delayed release systems are also there so continuous release systems release the drug over a prolonged period throughout the gi tract and examples of these systems are diffusion control dissolution control and osmotic systems delayed transit and control release systems drug is released at specific points or in response to gi environment that is ph trigger then diffusion control systems are there dissolution control systems are there and sometimes the combination systems are also utilized 
ion exchange resins are there osmotic pressure control systems are there matrix systems are there so hydrophilic matrix systems are very common for the sustained release diffusion control system drug release is controlled by diffusion through polymeric membrane includes matrix and reservoir systems dissolution control systems include drug release is controlled by dissolution rate and combination systems may utilize the diffusion and dissolution mechanisms ion exchange resins can be used to bind the drug on the ion exchange resins and then releasing the drug in gi tract osmotic pressure control systems are also known as push pull systems in this drug release is driven by osmotic pressure so sustained release systems often used to increase the patient compliance to decrease the toxicity and to improve the therapeutic benefit from the same drug molecule which is available in the ir formulation sustained release drug delivery systems offer numerous benefits including improved patient compliance reduced toxicity and more efficient treatment however there are some challenges like manufacturing complexity dose dumping and limited flexibility in dose adjustment so these are required to be considered dose adjustment flexibility is less because if these sustained release tablets are splitted or divided for dose flexibility or adjusting the dose then there may be a chance of change in the drug release profile because of the splitting so generally it is labeled and it is instructed that do not chew or crush the tablet and swallow as such you might have seen this type of labeling then proper formulation and selection of the drug delivery systems are critical for achieving the desired therapeutic outcomes so it is very critical to select specific formulation and to select specific drug delivery system to select specific formulation design for achieving the desired therapeutic outcome this, this was the information regarding sustained release drug delivery systems that is srdds you can say it as srdds many of the times sustained release drug delivery formulation is also known as prolonged release formulation numerous formulations are available in the market with sustained release type of drug design there is specific video on the channel to explain the differences between sr release modified release extended release control release or prolonged release you can visit that video and you will definitely have good idea for this topic thank you for watching the video